and, 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 and before we call this clown a coon and a clown, all for what he did this week, let me go ahead and put that on up. Oh, jeez, Here yeah. we go. Yeah, Buzz, you did it. You did it. You did it. This uh. week, 50 Cent came out and clowned Lil Wayne. Now, mind you, 50 Cent um, has said he's not voting for Trump. He was just trolling. So, Larry, you don't have to quit watching his TV shows. Little Wayne had this meeting, and 50 Cent put this up here because y'all know 50 Cent is petty. Clowning Wayne basically saying he would have never took this picture with the president. But Little Wayne is endorsing Donald J. Trump because of this stupid ass platinum plan. Now, for those of you that don't know what the platinum plan is, and you might be thinking that Wayne is on to something, y'all trying to be in that D knowledge shit y'all be on. Not my people watching now, but those who are watching in the shadows. Let me show you some of this so-called platinum plan. Take a look at this. Don't you can't never see, never say you didn't see it. All right. Opportunity by achieving historic unemployment levels for Black Americans, as well as increasing access to capital for new business. President Trump has been committed to ensuring all Black Americans can achieve the American dream. Whatever. Security mm -mm. by signing into law. The celebrated First Step Act, President Trump has brought common sense criminal justice reform to American people for the first time in decades while ensuring that our streets and communities are safe and families and business owners. Prosperity. As the first president to provide long-term funding for historically black colleges, that's a lie, and universities, the administration continues to seek immediate and generational advancement for Black Americans. Now, ladies and gentlemen, they were still about to close half of all the historically Black colleges and universities in America under President Trump's watch until the Black caucus had to get together and basically beg for money. And then what happened? The House flipped to Dems. Don't forget that. Next, fairness a demonstrated through his actions to initiate investment in opportunity zones, as well as address health disparities. Same guy trying to get rid of Obamacare talking about health disparities, wage gaps and necessary education reform. President Trump works every day to advance a fair and just America. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if y'all watch his rallies, but I do because I'm a YouTuber. One of his rallies, this man specifically said there's no such thing as a wage gap. And um, um, Larry, you might have seen that one too, but this man in, a, in one of his rallies said that. And to give you guys a little more of this platinum plan, this is the rest of it. He's trying to do 3 million, 3 million new jobs to the black community. Now, ladies and gentlemen, a job is not creating a damn job at McDonald's. That's not a job. That's not a job. Well, yeah, it's a job. It ain't a career. Creating 500,000 new black owned businesses, blah, 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 blah. All that is not saying anything about what they're going to do with the money, how they're going to disperse the money. What are you going to do to fix the issues that black businesses deal with? Because I was a black business owner and still am. And I can tell you firsthand the shit I had to deal with. Number one, if you don't already come with a good credit score, forget getting money. That's a problem in our community. Number two. Most of us have never done a business plan. So they make you jump through these fiery hoops. Oh, you need to have a business plan. No, look, the very first business I done, Tyson Respiratory Services, the very first year I did it, it turned into six figures. I ain't write no business plan. The average Joe Blow who's selling drugs on the street, they ain't write no business plan. If you understand your business and you know how to make profit above what you're paying for your goods, you can make money. They say all these great things about, oh, there's money out there. There's grants out there. And all, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to tell you from a black business owner in Greensboro, North Carolina, if your credit score ain't 625 or higher, and if you ain't showing you have some revenue to pay back any loan that they're going to give you, they ain't giving you shit. Then when you do get into the hood and try to work with your own community, if you try to have a set standard where you want to be treated equally that the other guy on the other side of the community, white guy who's driving a nice car is treated, they treat you bad too in some cases. So what needs to happen for black business is 
that whole stuff about the credit, throw that out the window. And then they'll tie you up into a loan that's 10% or greater. That's not helping the black business. You need to have someone who has made it in business. You pay them to assist these black business owners in the communities, give them a lump sum of money, help them while they're doing their business, and then provide them the capital access at a lower interest rate than 5%. And that's how you get you can make a difference with quote unquote black business. But Larry, I give you the floor. I had to expand on this whole Trump platinum plan shit that Weezy is endorsing because it makes me so mad when I see dudes like this who feel like they done made it. Just honestly forget the folks who Trump has been stepping on at every turn of this administration from people he putting in the Supreme Court to them folks at the border. The dudes are racist, but the floor is yours to speak on it, Larry. I just, I'll be honest with you. I feel like it's another one of these situations where you have racist white people pandering to black folks. Because if you're serious about having black people do something in the community, why are you pulling out friggin' drug addicts like, like, like Lil Weezy? I mean, this dude's been, this been, dude's been in the hospital overdose more than I can count. Why do I care about what 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 Ice Cube says? I like Ice Cube's music. I like some of his movies. Why the hell do I care about what this dude thinks? I mean, we've already seen what happens when you put in a non-experienced, non-professional politician in there. He, he drove the country into the ditch. Why the do I want to see? Why do I want to see some rapper and you know and and you know these rappers and actors and singers in there? No, I don't want that. I want professional politicians. I want lawyers who have spent their entire careers doing nothing but analyzing and writing policy for this country. I want professionals. If I have a crooked back and I have an ache in my back, I go see a chiropractor. I don't go see a freaking... I don't go see a friggin' uh, hairstylist and say, well, you know, you work with people all day. You talk with people all day. I'm sure you can fix my back. No, I'm going to a professional. Mm -hmm. You know, if I need my car fixed, I'm not going to go and, and visit my dentist and tell him, oh, well, you know, you're used to fixing stuff. I'm sure you fix people's teeth. I'm sure you can fix a car. No. Mm -hmm. I want people who write policy. I want I want economists up there. You want to write a plan about some platinum plan? Find me a black economist. You know, find me a lawyer to get up there with them to write the policy so it makes sense, so that you don't come up with these wonderful plans and you put them out in front of the politicians. And the politicians say, "Oh, this looks wonderful. I can get down with this." And then when they go to implement the shit. It comes up where all the courts just say, yeah, none of this is constitutional. All of it's good. No, you can't have any of this, you know? And so you, you, you put it in there, you get it voted through, and then they get, and then the, the, then the right goes and takes it to court and challenges every part of it. It gets struck down because none of it's constitutional because it was all written by some friggin' neophyte, you know, you know, policy person that's out there. Doesn't know Jack or is written by Lil Wheezy or, or, or Ice Cube or somebody else. And then you end up with nothing. And then you have the politicians on the left say, well, you know, we tried. We supported you. We put it in there, but it didn't work because, well, you know, you guys effed it up from the beginning. So, nah, you want a plan? Give me a real plan. Exactly. You know, I, I, don't, I, I don't care what Lil Wayne thinks. I don't no. care what Ice Cube thinks. I, give a, I don't care what, what Puffy. I don't care what any of these dudes think. Just because these guys – can sing and dance and rap and act, and they've made a lot of money doing that, does not mean that they know how to run a country. It does not mean that they know how to find, you know, how to, how to properly gain reparations for stuff. It does not mean that they know how to write policy. It doesn't mean any of that. I'm not saying they can't participate in the process. They're, they're American citizens like the rest of us. They're black like the rest of us. But other than marketing, I don't want these dudes doing much of anything else. They can get people out there and say, this is what the plan is, support it. But I I'm, I mean, I, I just... You, Larry, oh, in all honesty, man, when, you, when, you're doing, when you're doing anything that's supposed to be for a black business, and I'm speaking directly to that part, 
You need to come see people that live in these local communities like me that have had to earn my stripes. I mean, y'all don't know the hell we had to go through for both of the businesses we have done, and we still hold holdings right now. You need to sit down with these people who have had to deal with this stuff to understand what were the barriers and work with them to get rid of those damn barriers. And I just told y'all three of them. If this was my plan, three of those things are going to be gone immediately because those are barriers it seems like they put in place to make you discouraged. You can't really get any help. But if you get someone, you take some of that money, pay someone who has done this before to assist these people when you give them that boatload of money so they can facilitate their business properly, you can make those inroads in the local communities. And that's what we've got to start trying to do, man. It's just right. dealing with the bureaucracy of small business, it'll make your head explode, ladies and gentlemen. My head was on a swivel every day. I figured out a way to make it work. I, but the stuff we had to go through is almost, you don't even want to talk about it. I mean, you know, this is the thing. If you, I mean, if you're talking about, if you're talking about these these business opportunity zones and all this business, all these business policies for folks, I mean, and I'm not trying to dog out. I'm not trying to dog out Ice Cube or Lil Wayne or anybody. I mean, they do their thing. And that's fine. But I mean, if they would if they would have brought out if they would have brought out Magic Johnson, I could have I, I would have been more receptive right. to it. I would have been like, this dude has made more money as a businessman than he made playing ball he's he is a bona fide businessman at this point hell they would have brought out lebron james lebron james is, is probably making more money at this point you know he probably could quit playing ball today and make more money you know <laughs> i mean and i'm not i'm not saying these guys don't have good ideas it's just i mean at this point, man, I, I need i mean i need i need real I need real bona fide economists up there. I, I want I want to see dudes with and men and women with their with their PhDs and from you know from from Georgetown and from Harvard and from Howard and wherever else. I want to see those letters behind their degrees. I want to see people that really understand the intricacies of our of our government and our financial system, not just somebody who made a lot of money. Yeah. So.